to be playing some Katarina in Arena. Start of virtual thinking, stats, and ultimate unstoppable. I gotta take ultimate unstoppable. My, I'm immune to crowd control for three seconds after I ult. My ult cannot be cancelled now. It is so perfect. What makes Katarina like hard to play in this mode is that her ult can get cancelled by like every team. Usually there's so much CC. And now we don't really have to worry about that. Oh yeah, that's my item. I think I'm gonna do on hit cat. I'll start off with uh, Guardian's Orb. The images. Early game's gonna be pretty weak. I don't have an augment till uh, I'm level 7 on round 3? 4? Round 3, yeah. Gotta get focused like crazy here. Oh, look at my health bar just disappearing here. I'm getting autoed to death. It's gonna be... I don't know if this is winnable. Be cool. I think you get a takedown though. If you could just get one beastly takedown, that would be pretty cool. Go Brom, eat his ass. Let's go! Yes! 250 gold! That's a W. That's a W, baby. <laughs> Lulu Echo sounds like such a random duo. Never seen that paired together before in my life. Go on hit cap this game. Bork rush in the Kraken terminus into. Oh, uh, what else? Maybe Gwinsu. I'll try and find Reaper's Toll so my ult can do true damage and reduce their max health. It stacks really fast. It's OP. And uh, Cat ult scales off attack speed and Reaper's Toll makes. It juices up your attack speed by 25%. So I'll be pretty nutty to find on this next uh, round here after this fight. Might use my rolls for that. Is a zero AP carry thing? What, like bot lane? Yeah, you can play it bot lane if you have too much AD and like you're good at Azir, but like Azir is a champion who wants solo XP, so I wouldn't like recommend it. It's like something you should do every game. But he's like a good like weak side bot champ. He can like 1v2 uh, most matchups. Oh man, our focus is split. I think I just die. And then see if Rom can like stall, but maybe not. He's kind of low HP. I picked like the, the portal and like Lost Cone or something. Oh, it's cooked. It's cooked! Part of the game, stank. But it's alright. This next round will be a prismatic item. We have our ults. It's winnable now. It's winnable now, baby. What's up, Ninetales? <laughs> but against one, so I was just wondering, I've been looking at other AP champs for bot lane other than my normal Nico or Lux AP carry. I see. Uh, I'll go Detonation Orb here. I'll do a lot of damage to my ult. I was looking for either Rune Carver or Reaper Soul there. I did not find either because sometimes I'm very unlucky when I try to force my items as I do every video, every game. That's how it be, man. It is what it is. It is what it do be. Alright, against Huey with vulnerability and a flashy Z. Vulnerability works on Huey's QE ability. It's like a DPS, right? That'd be interesting to see crit. He's gonna go for this guy. I know he gets stunned immediately if I ult him. Ah, he got, I got feared. Yeah, 
This is not good. I'm really low. Oh. Oh, they got the plants. Well, at least I killed that guy. Yeah, good luck going for this res. Looks really tough. You have to dodge everything. And bush? So we can't auto you? Hello? Ah. Uh. No, I said they're gonna get stunned if I insta R because of Brum passive. I thought that's what I said. That's what I meant at least. If I didn't say it correctly, I don't know. I all in the Z like that. With no fear. See had Brum passive and my R like insta procs. Also, in boss, they'll make his early game like a little bit better into like assassins and stuff. I think, which is nice. But I don't know. It's better than nothing. Nice, awesome start here. Ah, oh, fucking lovely. Well, okay. The Zoe damage is really insane. What's your shrot? What do you mean? What's my shrot? Twice the rice. Let's do it. Yo, Bork. Blader and King. I'm gonna go Kraken. Terminus. And we should be doing insane amount of damage. Yeah, kill them is our shot. Wait for Brom passive and then we go and press R. Try to one-shot the mother son. As well as Reaper Soul. You got Brom shield there. I guess we're focusing Malkai. Ah, oh, we can stun him in time. I ult's up really soon here. Let's go finish off Malkai. Nice! Alright, we played that pretty well. I need to be like more patient in these, just wait for like Braum passive. All our losses have been like before level 6. And when I don't wait for Braum passive, really. Let's get our Bork. That Nation Orb did 2720 damage so far. Pretty good with the ultimate. Alright, we'll just like execute them at a certain percentage. Depending on how much damage it does. It stores 25% damage dealt. Wait, it increased to 30% against immobilized enemies. Oh. Wait, that's actually nuts. 5% more damage from the Brahm stun while we're ulting them. Crazy. Oh, we're gonna see Echo Lulu. It's an interesting Echo build. He's got Leandries and Seraphs. Does he have Mind the Matter or something? No, he doesn't. Oh, 
Yeah, that was the echoes on this dude. Oh, I'm berserk, then like, why can't I do anything? Now I'm polymorphed. Dude. Why the fuck? I'm polymorphed again! I can't play! Holy shit, this Lulu is like really aids. Berserk in the two polymorphs. Probably a knockup too, like wow. My god. It's unfortunate the Echo lived. Couldn't kill him before he could ult do the stun in my R. Wow. Lulu is such a devil champion. Attack speed for slightly more damage. Or right, against Yasu Choga. Hopefully we can one shot this Yasu. Can his Windwall block my R? I think it can. He like positions it in front of us, between us. My crest is the first of many I see one shot him. Nice. Decisive victory. Feels good after getting wrecked like that in the last round. Well, I get a black shield, but I mean, kind of useless when I have ultimate unstoppable. Man, these kind of suck. Maybe I do just go black shield here. Yeah, why not? They can't CC me at all this game, I guess. I'm immune to CC. They can't even stop me from running in. And they can't stop me after I press R. I'm the most unstoppable Katarina. The most immovable cat you've ever seen. Stand behind Brom. Stand behind Brom. Oh, I still get my Jin. Alright. Oh, I got my L back, huge. Oh, where's this guy going? Okay, nice. That nation orb got him. Sweet. Good job, Detonation Orb. 5k damage on Detonation Orb so far. All the fights are over. Let's get... Is it Terminus time? Or Kraken Slayer time? I think this all isn't that tanky. I'm gonna go Kraken. Then Terminus next. Wait. Wait, if I sell this, I can get Prismatic, actually. King's Crown? Nah. Yes! I got Reaper's Toll, let's fucking go! Yes! The on-hit build is complete. So yeah. Increase your attack speed from all sources by 25%. My ult scales with attack speed. And my ult does on-hit true damage. While reducing their max health, it's so sick. Try and get my ult back here, nice. Need that brown passive on him. Let's steal that from her. <laughs> Wanted to eat her for that son. Just gonna ult after he spawns here. Whee! Oop. 
Oh. Nice. I'm feeling OP. And we got 20 AD. Pulse skills with AP, AD, and attack speed. Attack speed adds a lot of extra physical damage to this, I believe. I did 240p true damage that last fight, man. That's crazy. That's a lot. My ult did 2240p true damage, basically. Actually, I was auditing a bit too, but yeah, it was it was a lot. That's still a lot. This Katarina build doesn't really have a counter. Physical damage, true damage, and magic damage. You got it all. It's gonna auto him. Hello there. I'll just fight this Maokai. It's pretty fun. Holy. <laughs> nice. 6500 for Beeper's Toll now. Holy, I did around 4k. To Azrael Maokai. That's so much free damage. Now let's get Kraken, Terminus, Gwinsu. We have a Byron. Alright, it is Lulu Brom versus Ezreal Maokai. Dude, I actually cannot believe this duo is doing so well. Like, Echo Lulu just sounds like such a random duo, but it is working. They are first place, 90 HP. They've only died a total of 5 times. We buy 12 in comparison. Maybe I can just like delete this Lulu now. Like she can't polymorph me as soon as the round starts when I engage. Maybe focus her over Echo. Because Echo can get his ult off. Maybe this Echo build isn't that like bursty. Oh wow. Oh wow. They're doing damage. Oh, they got the echo. Nice. Nice. That's what I like to see, baby. Ooh, we thread the needle. Armor magic pen? I mean, yeah, why not? That sounds pretty perfect for my ultimate. <laughs> 1900 magic damage, 1500 physical damage together. Very cool. All right, we have to win this. We have to win this. Because we are lethal. Should probably pot up. Juice the power. All right, true damage. Take me home. I have so much armor and magic pen now. Like 52% total once it stacks up. Holy. 52% armor and magic pen. What the heck? And I do true damage. him with anything. Oh, that damage I did as there was nuts. Oh, that's the real one. That was a lot of damage. Oh my god. My Reaper's Toll is at 14,000 now. And my, my Detonation Orb is on 8,000 true damage. That's 24k true damage combined. Holy shit, man. Now let's go Gwinsu or Kraken. I'm sure gonna go both. Mm, what's better? Gwinsu gives more attack speed. This gives... Bring it down on hits. This would be better with Reaper Soul, wouldn't it? So it give me more true damage, I think. I'm gonna go Gwinsu because I think it gives me more true damage. I'll go Juice of Vitality. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Twice, twice, Gwinsu, Reaper's Toll, baby. 2.69 attack speed. Wow, she dodged it with her one augment, but I'm just auditing her to death. Oh, that's an echo. Shit. I can't move. Oh, 
Yes! Let's freaking go. All right, here's the final damages from our items. Very cool. Let's fucking go, baby. Oh, my Rob was stunning me. This passive because of the uh, puppeteer item. That's funny. I was like, why am I CC'd so much? After being immune to CC, so much that game, it felt weird being CC'd. Alrighty, that is Reaper Soul Katarina. GG's guys, hope you enjoyed. Body that like button if you did. Subscribe. If you're new, leave a comment down below what you want to see me play next. And stay tuned for another banger Katarina game with Reaper Soul. Y'all are gonna want to see that one too, trust me. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yo, what up guys? You playing some Katarina today? We're starting off with some gold augments. Outlaws Grit, Die Bomber, Big Brain. All three of these are pretty viable here. But I'm gonna go either Outlaw's Grit or Dive Bomber. I can do 20% true damage when I E in on them. Or Outlaw's Grit can like... I can E like a few times around and get tankier. Maybe I want to be tankier. I'll try this. I had Dive Bomber last game when I played Cat. Uh. Let's see if we can get tankier here and survive a bit longer. Have a hard time surviving as Katarina. She's so squishy. Okay, eat three times. Oh, where'd Rakan's HP go? How'd they do that much to him? Does that play for the res here? I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Oh, I can step out of that. That's rough. I do feel pretty tanky though. Like, I feel like I'd be dead if I didn't have this much resistance this year. Uh, I don't have enough damage here, no cooldowns. Ah! Uh, no! They're so low! Frick, man, the early game is cut. Before we get our ultimate, is really tough. I'm used to it, though. I'm used to losing the early rounds. The Sorcerer Shoe Power Spike, Pog. Yeah, it's 60, uh... Hmm. I think Allah's Grit is gonna be pretty cautious game, though. I felt pretty tanky that last round. Like, I should've died so much earlier. Against Kindred with Demon's Dance, Grassfield Dying Flea Footwork, and Jax with Lightning Strikes. <laughs> you might Berserker Greaves. Let's stack up my resistances spamming E over here. Play for plant. Alright, I'm pretty tanky now. Maybe we can start track. <laughs> Maybe not. Still no damage. Why the fuck, man? Please die. No. He's so low again, man. Damn. Frick. They're getting owned by the auto attack champs. And they're the game to be expected, though. It's just how matchups work. Smoda. Fulmination, I could try to go the Energize build again. This is like my third attempt trying to do it. I could try to roll for Rune Carver. I'll take Fulmination, like it's pretty good. It procs on my ult. And I dash around a lot, which makes the Energize come up quicker. So I'll just do it. Maybe I can get the uh, full Energize build this time. Third attempt at playing Katarina today. <laughs> I've gotten Fulmination every time.
But it also makes it uh, come back up quicker too. Let's see the dashing. Just come up fast. You, it's a Ramus, so he didn't ban it. I'm taunted. Okay, pretty solid ult damage. No, I don't want this guy to get the plant. My dagger follows him. <laughs> oh my god, he's 1 HP. Alright, we got him. We did it. Let's go. See, we're champions with our ultimates. Karina is playable once she gets her ult in this uh, mode. <laughs> But before that, nope. Not really. Let's go. Should I want to go on hit this game? Not really sure. Maybe I go AP. I'll go Nash for three. I'll just go like standard AP build. Against a Thread the Needle Viego and Mark's Mage Trundle. He's building AP so he can do more physical damage. <laughs> it's interesting. This is Q won't do like that much. His ult might do a lot. This goes off AP, I think. It's like a really small AP ratio though, but it's like percent health. Alright, I need Viego W and Trundle Pillar to be gone to press R. Ouch, I am dead. Holy, Mr. Palm is squishy. And I got bursted, bro. We both did. Man. He's gonna win this. I think it's gonna be close. Sandra has a big health advantage though. Sandra carry? Whoa. Alright, we get a augment. Shadowrunner, close line, ocean soul. Um, I get a lot of moon speed after pressing E, or I can get sustain. I think I want sustain here. You want sustain. Is this in Braum goodness? Yeah. They are goodness. Shinami is probably better though. Ami is the most broken enchanter in this mode by far. She does insane damage. And has like insane healing building full AP. Yo, what up Robin? How you been? Just stack up my E. Okay, nice. I press R. And I have my old back. Oh, what am I taking so much damage from? Well, let's go. We did it. Just had to ult three times to win a round. <laughs> let's go. Rub it down. Shadow Flame. Excuse me. Rub it down gets my ult like 500 more damage. I'll just see Rabadon here. Let's try it out. I didn't tool this under whoa. I've been good, thanks for asking. We on the content grind. We're against 
Still your hard volley? But he doesn't have it uh, stacked up yet. That's good. Not as tanky. Doesn't get another 2000 HP for free. Till next time we fight him. They both have a disgusting amount of CC that will just like make me useless. She'll put herself at least inside of me. Pretty tanky here. I got a lot of ease off. Oh, so we killed Bully. Okay. I like how this is going. I'm really tanky, man. I love this. Die. Yes, we did it. Let's go. Alright, let's take... Ooh, let's take the Omni event. 8.6% is kind of a lot. I know that magic pen's good for damage, but... That healing, though. This isn't TFT sad, and it's League of Legends TFT. You have the TFT augments. We're getting Zed and Twitch now. I wonder if this will be hard. I'm just gonna keep playing the, uh, these rounds the same, right? Like, just press E a bunch at the beginning. Get the uh, armor and body cruises stacked up here from our Outlaws Grit. Show of armor and MR every time we dash. It works on Blast Cones too, apparently. So I should, do, I should try to hit those if they're around me. There's like two Blast Cones on this map I could use. Ow. Oh, that was such a fucking bad time to press E, man. Oh, I'm just gonna go in. Oh my god, that was so unlucky, man. I pressed E at such a bad fucking time. That was maybe winnable if I didn't eat that much true damage. I almost killed Zed. That, I think that was kind of clutch, too. Glad I took that. Ooh, all three of these are pretty viable, but let's go Executioner. I think that'll give me the most damage. What's up, Bear's Pack? That Twitch game yesterday it was amazing, wasn't it? <clears throat> Where's Ava? Downstairs, chilling, probably. We're against Wei and Aatrox now. Trox says, don't chase. It's killing time. Clothesline. His clothesline's on 8300. Wow. Is it OP? It is OP. Yeah, nice. I got a huge ult there. Let's fucking go. That was good synergy there. They did not get to play the game. Feels good when it's them and not me. Damn. This AP Trundle hurts. This Mark Schmage going crazy. The play against Shavana with Phenomenal Evil and the Ramus again. We beat them last time. But they're pretty scaled up now. So it's AP Shivana. Heavy hitter. Shit. Sure would love to buy another Prismatic here, but I'd have to sell boots on this. It's kind of tempting, not gonna lie. I'd probably go with just Perplexity here. Get the pen. Stay pretty beefy. Let's look at their stats. Oh yeah, they beefy as hell. Look at this. And she has 700 AP. Her E is gonna do so much. Holy... 
Oh, uh, jeez. Head on bush. They go. Can't reach them. They can kill around this. Nice, got him. Nice. Let's go. My ult is OP. Let's get some more on the event. 14% on the event. So if I get low, I just want to press R and I'll heal it back. He's spinning the win right now. What if I got a Jack show? Jack's shoe. Oh, big ult here. Oh, they're just gone. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Why did he get one shot by that? Very cool. That's the thank you, Voli. Gotta steal your heart quest fully activated. Oh, I four rolls. Reaper's toll might be fun on my ult. I wanna try that. I should practice. My ult is true damage now, right? I wanna hit the dummy. Where's my dummy? Where's the dummy? Oh! Somebody taking 10 years to buy the right in. Oh, they are both so tanky. So kind of good, good, uh, good thing I got Reaper Soul here. That's percent HP true damage. Oh, perfect. This is it here. This is right. Press R. Let's get the all back. Ah, oh, good zone use. Ah, dodge the pike. Oh, I almost got the res, man. What? They were actually so fucking tanky. Damn. Ooh, he gains 200 ability haste. I can stack my uh, Alice Grid even faster. Dude, I did 4,900 true damage last round and they just lived. They lived through it, man. Frick. Also, this item is so sick because it increases my attack speed from all sources by 25% and my ult scales off attack speed. It's kind of like a really, really nutty item for Katarina. Alright, we're top three. We need to beat this Zed in Twitch. I need to try to one-shot Twitch with my ult. I'm gonna suck at my E first. Okay, that's a huge ult. Oh. Oh, lock him up forever.
Oh no. Press B. Nice. Okay. Let's go. We're still in it, baby. Top two. Holy, my full is on 25k this game. Crazy. I want an all hit item. Or like Shadow Flame there. I'll do Shadow Flame. Non hit build with Reaper's Thaw would be like kind of nutty though. It would be fun to try. Full on hit with like Winsu, maybe twice thrice. Or like on hit attack speed build. See how fast my ult can delete like Reaper's Thaw. Katarina with like 3 or 4.0 attack speed. Sounds pretty crazy to me. Oh my god, they're getting set diffed. My sustain is nuts though. My sustain is really insane. This last fight, I may as well uh, flash too. We finally killed her, man. Why was she so tanky? <laughs> she had a lot of sustain too. We were still 9600 damage in just like 3 rounds, I think. Perplexity 25k. Pulmination 32k. Nashers probably procked on dummy a lot, so we're not going to count that damage. Wow. My items did so much freaking damage that game. My R button plus my items. For the win. Oh, 100k damage from this build. That is pretty gross. Well, GG's guys, if you enjoyed, body that like button, subscribe. If you new, leave a comment down below what you want to see me play next. And thanks for watching. Peace.